Hi there, it's Mark here again. I've got my friend Rob on the camera. Hello. And today we're going to do an unboxing, uh, a review, test, Thank speed you. test, yeah. and uh, let you know all about this new 114th scale dual 4x4 monster truck from Hayboxing. Wow. Also known as HBX right. out there in the market. Now, this is a bargain at the moment, Rob. Is it? Check this out. I was sent this for review and I checked out on the website the link. And in the UK, this is £77. Cool. For a 114th scale, yeah. ready to run. So what we'll do, Rob, is we'll get it out of the box and we'll have a look at all the specs, look what you get for that money, and we'll compare it to these other two cars I've got here because I was sent before to review. This is the 16889 right. and we've got the 18859. And I think these are about the same price as this now. So and this is slightly bigger and I think it's a better spec now. Yeah. These are like three years old now, they but are. great fun, brilliant trucks. I really like HBX. So when they said, do you want to test this latest one we've got, this 4 temp scale? I said, yes, please. So shall we get it out of the box? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Right, oh, the manuals fell out, Rob. Oh, and we've got a... Uh, a bunch of stickers there, that's nice, isn't it? Cool. Yeah. Two lots of stickers. Wonder yeah. what? A warranty card. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Yes. Let's try and get this the right way up. I do like the fact that they're using this uh, kind of eco friendly cardboard packaging, Rob. Yeah. Very nice, be better than all that polystyrene and plastic. Oh, yeah. So it's, oh, nice and easy to get out of the packaging, yeah. look. Obviously, keeps it uh, all in good condition. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Purple and green. Well, yeah, it's green on the box, but hey, ah. two bodies, Rob. Again, right. marvellous. So that's fantastic, isn't it? We can like, use one for bashing and keep yeah. one for best. And uh, let's have a look what's in the bottom of this box. Looks like we've got the transmitter sticking out there. It does. Oh, we've got a bag. Ooh. We've got in there. We've got a wrench. We've got a charger. We've got some spare body clips and a spare battery. Look at that, Rob. 1500 cool. milliamp. And I think it's a lithium iron, so right. good batteries, nice and yeah. safe, and uh, yeah, a good size for a little truck like this. It is. Let's have a look at the transmitter. Whoa, it's quite a big one, isn't it, Rob? Oh, yeah. It's quite a big one. We've got a warning on there about mm. binding. So it looks like we've got a steering trim and a throttle uh, a speed adjustment, so we can turn the throttle down for a beginner's type thing. Good. Yeah, and uh, you've seen I have cheated. I took it out of the box before. Because the only thing you don't get, guys, are two AA batteries that right. go in the bottom there. You know that, Rob? So yeah. that's all you'll need. Everything else comes ready to run. Well, it's uh, quite a nice looking truck, isn't it, dude? It is, yeah. say, so it's supposed to be 14th scale. This is the 18th, and this is the 16th. And they are pretty similar, aren't they? All yeah. of them's only a little bit of difference, but that body's definitely bigger, isn't it? Yeah. And the wheelbase is a bit longer. The wheelbase is a bit longer. If we look underneath, yeah, that, that chassis is definitely, compared to this, I would say a 14th yeah. scale. And uh, those lower arms look a bit beefier, don't they, than they the, do. the old uh, one six, 16th scale one. So let's get the body off and have a look at the spec, Rob. Right then, dudes. Okay, so you know what? First thing I'm going to do, because you see the sticker on there, is I'm yep. going to take off this protective film, see what it looks like. <laughs> Right then, so get that off because that's going to spoil the sheen. Yeah, and well, if you don't, <laughs> I think might some people. Stick the stickers on. I will. I will put the stickers on later. But yeah, I do like the look of that. It's a nice racing monster truck type body. Okay, so we've got the other battery inside, so you get two batteries with it, guys. Right. It's held in by this Velcro strap. It's nice and neat. Fifteen hundred milliamp hour again. This should give us a decent run time, I think. It should, shouldn't it? I think, what's the, what did they say in the book? 40 minutes with the two. Wow. So that's quite good, isn't it? So here we go. Let's have a quick look then. This me waffling on. Yeah. Um, we've got your Dean's connector, standard battery connector. You've yeah. got a 390 motor. This is supposed to go uh, 39 kilometres, Rob. Right. Which is, did you know, 24 miles an hour. 20 McFour. 20 McFour. But we will do a speed test on this, won't we, and find yeah. out. Um, we'll see if that's true. So there you go, there's your 390 motor, it's got a, a metal heat sink on it. Uh, we've got a combined ESC and receiver there, 2.4 right. gig with its little aerial look. Yep. And I don't know if you can see in there, Rob, but there is a three wire servo. So this is proper hobby grade, you can upgrade oh, yeah. that if you need to. Uh, so there's plenty of uh, spares and options available for this, which is good. So say so there's your 2.2 kilogram servo. 
We've got independent double wishbone suspension all round and you've got adjustable shocks. See those co collars on the top there, so you've got those oh, metal yeah. collars to adjust the spring tension. But unfortunately, it is, Rob, very bouncy. These are obviously not, not oil shocks. Oil, yeah. The only thing in the spec I think they probably could uh, ramp up on this to improve it. But I suppose at 77 quid at the moment, um, yeah. it would put it up into the next price bracket, I would think. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so you, you can, I think you can upgrade these two. I was sent the upgrade oil shocks with them, and you can see the difference there, mate. That's, That's the difference oil shocks makes. But they these were great fun with the uh, just the springs, weren't they? Before pogo sticks, the yeah. pogo stick. So I think this will still be good fun. Oh yeah. Again, as I say, we shall find out later in this video. Um, so one of the big pluses for this for me, Rob, is it's fully metal gear transmission the whole way through from your pinion, right. your spur, your drive shaft or prop shaft, your metal drive shaft. You can see you've got dog bones at the back there and you've got CVD metal dog bones oh, yeah. at the front, which is cool. Really good at that price point. And you've also got metal spur and metal differential gears everything's metal Everything which metal. is pretty impressive yes you've got this monocoque body here it's a uh, very firm i've got to say it's uh, nice and stiff and i say these uh, nice beefy arms which are running on look like stainless steel uh, hinge pins which yeah. again is good you've got your nice solid bumpers front and back and you've got two leds wide in there as well cool. dude I think, can you think of anything I've missed there? I think I've covered everything yeah, for that right. little overview. So what we need to do, dude, yes. is get this body, and this one, for that matter, yeah. put some of these stickers on it. Yep. So you get one for each body. Get the speed meter and go down the park and give it a speed test. Yeah. Right then, we've come down to this lovely park, and we Rob? We have. And I'll put the stickers on, look. Ooh, a little stickers. better with the stickers on. I think it's quite a good looking little truck, don't you? Yeah. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we've got your speed meter in here, haven't we? We have. The uh, GNSS. No, is it? No, 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 no. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's get it turned on and let's see how fast it goes. Cool. And then we'll give it a blast around the park. So, Good start. Start. Coolio. Let's go for it. Yeah. Here we come. Oh, the lights are brighter, though. Ah. Uh -huh. It's not that fast, is it, dude? I don't think it's 24 mile an hour, mate. Whoops! Well, I'll bring it in to see how fast it went, Bob. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. First bit of off road, isn't it, there, don't we? Ah! 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 Here we go, then. What's your guesses are? I reckon it's 17. Stop. Read. There we go, 18. Yeah, I was good right. Guess, mate. So, right. so there you go. Not quite as quick as it should be, I don't think. No. Uh, maybe it could be this one, or maybe it needs a bit of running in. But uh, maybe. regardless, mm. we'll see how it goes on the roof. Yeah. Right there, mate, we've got a bit of uh, loose gravel here, haven't we? We it's have. A bit rough. Let's see uh, how she handles. Kill. Cool. You ready? I certainly am, sir. <laughs> I keep losing you in the shade. It's, a, it's such a light car. It's a really easy to handle, not even on the smooth ground. Cool. I'm having trouble tracking you, dude. All right, dude, let's get the GoPro out. Okay. okay you ready? Yep. You're on a very good start, isn't it? Okay, one me. <laughs> I can't see it now. <laughs> oh, first crash. Right then. Let's see if it can do some jumps. Oh no, not the There's dreaded jump jumps. jumps. Jump stump stump jumps over there, dude. Yeah.
You know, it's rough. Oh, bit of grass. But no, it's tough as anything, Rob. Yeah. Shall we give it a jump off the big rock? Yeah, go Towards on. your test, let's yeah. do it. Oh, and it survives. So there you go, mate. It's as tough as old boots. It's in <laughs> off. So here we are then back from the test and I think you can see from the clips that Rob and I both gave this thing a real good thrashing. We both agreed that it handles well, drives well, jumps well and uh, yeah it's a great fun little truck. The batteries lasted well so the run times are good, the radio is excellent, uh, the range is really good on that as well but the standout thing for me is just how tough this little truck is. The quality of the parts all through is excellent and I think you'd have to be doing something pretty ridiculous in order to break this thing. They say it's absolutely solid. Even with those springy shocks, it still handles pretty good due to the fact that it's a really, really light truck and it doesn't make that much difference, which is what I expected at the beginning. Now, the only thing that was a little bit disappointing was it didn't reach the claimed top speed, but that top speed isn't quoted on the box itself. It's only put in the advert on Amazon and pretty much everybody seems to exaggerate the top speed of the cars. I don't know why they do it, there's no need I don't think because it's actually fast enough for the scale speed. So thanks again for Hay Boxing for sending this truck for review. Thank you for watching and one last note, because this is such a tough and well built truck, I hope that Hay Boxing come out with a kind of a pro version. If you could stick a brushless motor and some alloy full shocks on it I think we'd have an absolute winner on our hands not that this one isn't of course so there you go it's two thumbs up one from Rob Brennan one from me thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one bye mm -hmm.